Hello, welcome back to lesson number 10. Today, we'll talk about polygons. So, so in the last lesson, we, we, talk, we had gone over uh, triangles, and uh, today, in general, we'll talk about figures uh, like triangles, uh, but not necessarily triangles. So, so what are polygons? What's the definition of polygon? So a polygon is something, it's a, it's, it's some figure with many sides. So, so poly means many, so many sides. So, so, so polygons, you can have triangles, rectangles, squares, uh, all of these things. They are in general called polygons. So now the most common polygon that you will see on GRE is the quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral, as the name suggests, is a four-sided figure. Four-sided figure. Okay. And uh, you know common uh, quadrilaters. You have your rectangles, squares, all with four sides. Okay, then you can have pentagons. Pentagon have five sides. You can have hexagon, which has six sides. Uh, the next is a heptagon, which has seven sides. And then we have octagon, which has eight sides. That's all I think you need to know. There are more. But well, as far as GI is concerned, I think octagon uh, is fine. Okay. So let's talk about angles inside these polygons. So we know um, in a triangle, so if I draw a triangle, right, I have three angles, A, B, C, inside the triangle, and I know these sum up to 180. If I have a quadrilateral, let's say I have a rectangle, quadrilateral, four sides, as a rectangle, all the angles are 90 degrees, I know in a rectangle all angles are 90 degrees. And all these I would sum up to 4 times 90 equals 360. Okay. So, so there is a formula which predicts uh, what is the sum of all the angles inside a polygon. So that formula, so sum of angles is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Okay, so let's try this. Let's say we have, we'll try it with, with a triangle first. So triangle, for triangle N, so N here is number of sides. So for a triangle N is 3, okay? So if I plug that in here, 3 minus 2 times 180, this would come out to be 1 times 180 equals 180, right? Which is exactly what we have here. So triangle, sum of the angles inside a triangle is 180. If you take rectangle, with n equals 4, rectangle or actually any quadrilateral, right? All quadrilaterals have n equals 4. So then you, you'll get 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 times 180, and you'll get 360 degrees. Okay, next one you can do for a pentagon with n equals 5, and here you'll get 3 times 180 equals 500 degrees. Okay, so, so this is a Pretty handy formula, and you should memorize that sum of angles inside a polygon is equal to n minus 2 times 180. So memorize this formula. Okay. All right. Next, we'll talk about regular polygon. So a polygon with equal sides. So all sides are equal and equal angles. Equal angles is known as a regular polygon. Okay, so, so many times in GRE you will see this word regular showing up. Let's look at an example. Let's say we have a regular hexagon. Okay, so a hexagon is something with n equals six. So if I draw it, it will look, look like this. We have this, this. Let me draw this shorter. 
it's excited. It's like uh, you know the honeybee uh, comb. Uh, so each unit in that comb looks is a hexagon. N equals six, and since it's a regular hexagon, it means all sides, all six sides are equal in length, and all the six angles, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the angles are uh, equal in their measure too. Now we know from a formula n minus two times one eighty that the sum of all the angles inside a hexagon should be let's see six minus two times one eighty, so that's four times one eighty equals 720 okay so all the angles sum up to 120 but since all the angles are equal each angle so each angle in the hexagon so let's say i'm looking at this angle a well, all angles are same so it doesn't matter but anyway 720 and there are six angles so i get 120 degrees for the measure of each angle so each angle is 120 degrees so that's the thing i want to know Want to want to emphasize when you know a polygon is regular, it means you know what the measure of its each angle is. Okay, so regular polygon, you know all the angles inside that. Um, however, if I tell you if it's just a plain hexagon, not regular, uh, then you cannot tell me. Then uh, you would not know what the angle measure is. Okay, but in a regular polygon, regular hexagon, you know the angle measures. So that's important to know. Okay, let's look at an example. Okay, this is very similar to an actual GRE problem that you might see. So I would pay special attention. Uh, okay, so here we have an equilateral equiangular hexagon. Hexagon we know, n equals six, so we have a six-sided figure here. Equilateral equiangular is another way to say that the hexagon is a regular hexagon. Okay, so equiangular, all angles are equal. Equilateral, all sides are equal. So it's a continuity of comparison question, and we have to compare length x, which goes from this vertex to this vertex, and length y, which goes from these opposite vertex from here to here. Okay. Uh, now, just looking by the figure, it seems y is bigger, right? Uh, but we still need to prove it uh, because sometimes the figures might have been drawn uh, weirdly, so you can't see it right off the bat. Anyway, so, so let's see how we can prove uh, which side is longer here. Uh, so it's a regular hexagon, all sides are equal. So let's say I, I say each side is a length of S. So length of S, length of S, 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 and S. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to think about the angles. I know since it's a regular hexagon and we just proved that each angle in a regular hexagon is 120 degrees, right? So each angle is 120. Now it seems this angle is making a 90 degree, right? Uh, so this angle should be, since the whole should equal to 120, and this part is 90, so this angle should be 30 degrees, right? Okay, this is again a 90 degrees, so this one would be 60 degrees. Okay, so I have here a 30, 60, 90 triangle with the side opposite to 90 being S. Okay, so now if you remember from the triangle lesson, if the side opposite to 90 is S, then the side opposite to 30 should be S over 2. And the side opposite to 60 would be S root 3 over 2. Okay, so this is something very important. You should be able to do this very fast. 30, 60, 90 triangle, if I know one side, I know all the sides, okay? All right, so that makes my life easier. This length, so, so opposite to 60 degree, S root 3 over 2, okay? Now, now this triangle is also same as the triangle above it, right? I have 30 degrees here, I have 60 degrees here. So this part would also be S root 3 over 2. So now I know that X is just s root 3 over 2 plus s root 3 over 2 which is just s root 3 okay so i have two halves of something when i add it up i get a complete of that thing okay so and i know x is s root 3 all right what about y okay so y i'm going to divide into three parts so if i draw this line okay 
then I have this. I get this part in the middle, which is just equal to this part, which is the side of the hexagon. So my middle part for y is just s. Okay. Now I'm left with this part and this part. So if I come back again to my 30, 60, 90 triangle, then the base of the triangle is opposite 30, which is s over 2. So this part is, I'm going to write it over here, that is s over 2. Now you'll see again I have a similar triangle over here, right? So the base over here would also be s over 2. So for y, I have these two bases, s over 2 plus s over 2, and then I have s this side, which is just the length of the hexagon, side of the length of the side of the hexagon. So this is s over 2 or s over 2 would give me s, and s plus s would give me 2s. So y is 2s, and x is s root 3, so which is bigger. Well, it's 2s because root 3 is equal to 1.7 about. So this is equal to 1.7s. Here, x is equal to 1.7s and y is 2s. So y is the bigger quantity. The answer here is b. Okay. So, so this is, uh, I guess I would say a bit complicated problem, but not that hard um, if you know your triangle stuff well. Okay. Uh, again, if you had made a guess that why in the column B, why is bigger, you would have been right. But um, again, it's a guess. 